Hi, welcome to online tutorial series on Arduino and IoT. In this video, we will learn how to interface our LCD to Arduino Uno. So, we also provide online training, coaching classes, and help in technical assignments. And we also do freelance projects based on embed system, MATLAB, machine learning, Python, data science, etc. So, if you have any such requirement, then you can contact us at through our website, which is www.jcbrolabs.org, or you can also mail us at jcbrolabs at gmail.com. Okay. So, let's move forward. So, uh, till now, most of the times we have talked about output devices like LEDs and uh, some we have talked about some actuators like uh, uh, DC motors. So today we'll talk about a display device. Uh, if we want to display certain text or certain data, then how to do that? So LCD uh, then LCD comes into the picture. So this LCD stands for uh, liquid crystal display. So it is a basic form of uh, display device. We simply, uh, most of the time you are familiar with or you have seen in several uh, video games and several other devices. Okay. So uh, we'll talk about it, how to interface this uh, liquid crystal uh, display. So if you see, it looks like something like this uh, in its basic form. So. Uh, we the liquid crystal display we are talking about it is 16 cross 2 16 means it represents the number of columns or the number of and it represents the number of rows that means uh, if uh, it is a uh, liquid crystal display so there are two rows right so this is row 0 and here it is row number 1 and similarly uh, each row have been divided into columns so columns starts from 0 and then 1 and then 2 and goes up to 15 so these are the addresses as well okay so these are the column numbers now if you uh, if we want to display data okay prior to display data uh, these column numbers also starts from this uh, row one starts from address from 80 and this starts from uh, c0 if, we, if uh, we talk about row uh, lcd so there are certain commands if we want to display any data into it okay so uh, in uh, arduino there are pre-built libraries so through which we don't have to bother about the commands but uh, for a general recap uh, for a general information we can have a little recap so here this led plus these are the pins uh, several pins of this led and we apply plus 5 volt here and ground here similarly ground is connected to it plus 5 is to this and this is for the text uh, contrast so either we can connect it to the ground or through a resistance from VCC to it. So generally we connected this to ground as well. Now these three pins are very important. So this read write operation depends like if we providing a zero here it uh, gives a write operation. If we providing a one here it gives a read operation. So we generally used uh, this in write mode. So we permanently connect it to the ground only. So it left with the th two pins. These are two pins for command information. So the RS pin and the enable pin. So it is the register select pin. So there are two registers uh, inside to the LCD. One is the command register and one is the data register. So if this RS is zero, then it is the command register is selected. And this RS is one, then data register is selected. Okay, so register means uh, suppose if we are sending a command to initialize to clear the display to move the cursor aside or to move the cursor at any specific location. All these are commands. And this uh, uh, is the enable pin. A high to low pulse is transmitted uh, on this enable pin. So that whatever data is available on these pins, that data goes inside to the LCD and corresponding action is taken. Okay. 
so these uh, are the eight data pins through which we send a specific data so that data could be a com can be treated as a command and then that data could be treated as a character which is going to be displayed so again on these things we the characters uh, the data or if we want to display any character on it uh, we send the ascii codes on it so uh, i hope you are familiar with the ascii codes that means uh, 48 hex value 48 represents 0 and similarly 49 represents 1 and we keep on down this hex value 65 represents a and so on okay so these values are transmitted to this hex values are transmitted to this lcd and corresponding character will be displayed okay so now we'll talk about uh, how to interface it with this arduino so on Arduino, we have a specific library uh, that is uh, liquid crystal dot h. So we have to include this library into our sketch file. So and sketch uh, liquid crystal dot h, and once uh, define this library, we need to define the pins number which we are going to connect to it. So the pins are defined like uh, through this uh, liquid crystal. Uh, then LCD and then we define here the pin numbers. So pin numbers are specific written. First we need to define the RS pin to which it is connected. Then the enable pin. Then we need to define DB4 pin, DB5 db6 and then db7 and nothing else everything will be taken care of by uh, this function automatically and then uh, we have uh, several functions or several commands which are used to uh, display the data so first command is uh, lcd dot begin okay so uh, 16 comma 2 so this particular command is used to initialize the lcd So this command initialize the LCD and then suppose if we want to display a complete string on the LCD uh, we can simple print LCD dot print uh, and whatever data uh, we want to send let's say hello H -E -W -O -L -O. okay so it complete string got printed now uh, if we want to print any specific location so we have a function like lcd dot set cursor lcd dot set cursor and then we need to define the column number and the row number so column number and the row number so column number and row number are same as we discussed like uh, these are the column numbers 0 1 2 3 and these are the row numbers 0 or 1 so there are two rows and 15 columns so those has to be defined here if we want to display the data at any specific location similarly we want to display a specific character or a single character so we have uh, this lcd dot write so uh, this is lcd dot write we can send as a single character let's say s and that character will be displayed at the specific location okay so now if we want to clear this lcd so there are command lcd dot clear it will clear the entire lcd similarly uh, we have command uh, like uh, if we want to a scroll display or if you want to create a rotating display so there are command for that so lcd dot uh, sc scroll display so there could be two cases scroll display from left to right or the right to left so if we want to dis uh, scroll display left we will write scroll display left this is a command if you want to scroll the display right so it will be lcd dot scroll display uh, right and so these are the most of the important commands which we generally used uh, in order to display the characters 
and there are some several other commands as well which uh, uh, more information about them you can uh, get from the reference page of the lcd from arduino website okay so now let's uh, we will talk about the connection diagram uh, okay to our lcd uh, which we have made and then we will move forward for writing the code okay so uh, we have already know, know here and the LCD so connections are pretty simple uh, from pin number 2 to pin number 6 okay there are 4 pins so here it is 2 3 4 5 so pin number 2 is connected to pin DB4 it is connected to DB5 it is connected to DB6 and pin number 5 is connected to DB7 and then there are two pins pin number six and pin number seven so pin number six is connected to the rs and pin of this lcd and pin number seven is connected to the enable pin so these are the simplest uh, simple uh, connection notation or connection information for the lcd and similarly uh, we have connected vcc and ground and all the power supply to the lcd so let's have a look on the LCD on the connections and then we'll move forward for the programming. So connection diagram are like um, uh, we have provided VCC and ground from these pins and then and uh, pin number two pin number two to uh, seven are connected four pins are connected to db4 to db7 and pin number six is connected to rs and pin number seven is connected to enable pin of this lcd okay so we have to adjust the light in order to capture the text displaying on this lcd of the light so this is right now just showing hello world which we have displayed okay so you have seen the connections now we will write the code in order to display some characters on it okay so let's start arduino let's create a new project new okay uh, let's first do save and this is lesson seven so uh, it is lesson 11 about LCD so let's see with the same name say okay uh, so first we will uh, initial uh, we will uh, include the command uh, or include the library which is hash library is been added and now we will uh, simply define the pins connections or we will uh, define the pin information to it so pin number 6 is connected to rs so first information about rs then enable then db9 db4 to db7 so 2 3 Four and five. Okay, I hope yes, these are fine. Let's have a look. Yes, six and two, three, four, five. Yeah. So that's it. We need to do now. We will uh, display a welcome message on the LCD. So if we don't define uh, the correct uh, cursor position, it defaults from the home position. That is a row zero, column zero. So let's write a data on it. Uh, uh, first uh, we have to begin the LCD or initialize the LCD so that is LCD dot begin and we are initializing the mode 16 comma 2 and then we will write a data on it so LCD dot write LCD dot write and then we'll okay LCD dot print because we want to print a complete message on it so I'll see dot print okay, 
remember you can display a 15 characters in a single row if you are not making a, a rotating display okay otherwise it will goes out of the display range because we have only 16 locations or so 16 we can display 16 characters only 0 to 15 so if your characters length are greater than 15 then that will go out of the range So that's what we have done. Welcome to JCBRO. So it will display at the top of it. So and then let's display some other character on the second line. So for that we set the cursor to second row. Uh, column number two and row number one. Okay and then uh, then we will okay we will print, display a single character so let's say lc dot write and a single character s will display there okay let's and then let's provide a delay because it will be keep on displaying one of the uh, good feature of the LCD is uh, if you display it once, then you don't have to display it again and again. That particular command don't have to. Uh, you don't have to give it again and again. Whatever data you have sent once, uh, that will stay there till the power supply is connected to it. Okay. So let's provide a delay of 500. Okay. So let's download it. Okay, it's done. Now let's have a see. Uh, let's have a look how the data, how uh, it is being displayed on the LCD. This is how uh, our code is working fine. It is uh, displaying. Welcome to JCBRO. Okay. okay. Uh, so you have seen how it is being displayed on the LCD. Now let's uh, do something. Uh, we will display. Uh, some other string at some other location let's say lcd dot set cursor uh, column number 8 and row number 1 and okay. let's say okay and what we want to do we want to rotate this uh, entire text from the right to left okay so towards left so we will rotate the text so for this we can get the uh, moving text display so lc dot scroll display at left Okay, so in single run it will rotate one point and then in another run it will rotate another point so let's have a look how this let's first upload the data and now let's have a look how it is working on this LCD okay so as you are visualizing it is rotating from right to left so let's have a look. Yeah, it just started. So this is how you can make a rotating display on this LCD as well. So I hope this is cool. Okay, so you have seen uh, the rotating display on LCD. So I hope you understand how to interface this LCD on Arduino. It is very simple and uh, it's, uh, it's cool as well. Okay, so you can display any sensor data or any information on this. Uh, liquid crystal okay so i hope uh, this is it for this video uh, further we also provide online training online coaching classes and we also do freelance projects based on embed system matlab machine learning data science python etc so if you have any such requirement then you can let us know by contacting us at, at contact by contacting us through our website which is www.jcbrolabs.org or you can also mail us at jcbrolabs at gmail.com
okay so that's it for this video